This is Mother Hubbard's. Um, it's the Legrams Lane branch. I usually prefer to go to either the Legrams Lane or Leeds Road branch. They've got franchises all over the UK. But we'll discuss that later. Let's get straight into the food. I've got a portion of curry sauce. I just want you guys to hear the, the how crispy this butter is. So I've gone for a scallop booty. Now this was made to order, it was fresh. Um, that's piping hot. Compared to the last one that I got from West Park Fisheries, that was nice, it was soft, but unfortunately it wasn't fresh. You know, I like my fish and chips, my scallop, uh, scallop booty to be fresh, piping hot. Because you enjoy it more because it's got that crispy butter. You know, when it's slightly soggy, it's nice and enjoyable. You know, when, but when it's left in the warmer too long, it just goes fully flat. This is a full UK adult size portion of fish and chips from Mother Hubbard's. So look, the packaging everywhere. They've got it on the boxes, the bags, even on, they've gone that far as to branding the tissues. I think these little, little touches go the extra mile, you know, in terms of uh, brand awareness and getting the brand out there. But we're not here for tissues or packaging. We are here for the fish and chips. That is the full portion of fish and chips. This was made to order. So the chips and the fish are fresh. This butter is really, really uh, crispy. And uh, Bismillah, let's get straight into it. Let's pop open this curry sauce. Um, and let's see what's going on. Kill it. These chips. Wow, can I focus in on these because these are, let me see, this, you know, it's because of the lighting, it's a bit bad. These chips are absolutely delicious. They've got a nice crispy outer skin. Mm. I'm going to be completely honest, curry sauce is not doing the bits today. I'm just going to be completely honest about it. Uh, if you are enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the videos, I'd appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button, share the video, and also like the video. I'd appreciate it. Thanks to you guys who watch my videos, support me, allow me to go out and enjoy delicious food like this, and share my personal choices, preferences, and places I like to go to, and finding hidden gems all over. If you've got any places that you would uh, recommend to me in your local area, Manchester, Bradford, Leeds, Halifax, Dewsbury, Birmingham, I will also be coming to London very, very soon. So, guys, I'd appreciate it. If you can drop some uh, suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll uh, make sure to check them out. So, let's dig straight into it. Let's just get this big chunk out here. Wow, just look at that, guys. Oh, my God. Right, let's just, let's slow it down. Man's getting a bit excited. That is a big piece of fish. Wow, that is a huge piece there. And I haven't even really, look, that is a big piece and I haven't even done any damage to the actual uh, portion. But, Bismillah. Mm. Mm. You know what this is doing? This is doing the wee woo wee woo. <laughs> that fish is banging. That is next level. Really crispy, crunchy. You'll probably be able to hear it in the video. The fish itself is nice, it's clean. You know, it's not that oily and greasy. Obviously, it is fried fish, so you are going to get some. Uh, to some extent uh, oil but it's not that oily you know it's not greasy 
it is really really clean the haddock itself is flaky it look a lot guys I'm trying to focus it in but because of the lighting it's not doing it for some reason this is one of my go-to spots what's your favorite go-to spot in Bradford where do you prefer eating fish and chips from is it one of your local chippies do you travel out of the area for it um, because you know me I love my food and I do travel up and down the country for it um, it's not my actual job it's more of a hobby but thanks to you guys maybe one day I might turn it into a full-time profession career cause you know get at me Months when they were younger, the teachers used to ask him, what do you want to be? Agla used to say, I'm a doctor, I want to be a police officer. And then you'd have that guy in the back with the long hair, trying to be Shahrukh Khan. And he'd go, I'm a Bollywood star. Months here, become a food reviewer. Expert. Food review. Khana khasi te food review karsi. Seeing as they didn't have a Rio, I had to go for a Ben Sherman. Ben Sherman's? Ben Sherman's? That's a clothing brand. I had to go for a Ben Shaw's Cloudy Lemonade. This is a bad boy drink, a rude boy drink. It's not one of my personal favorites, but I do like it. It's a bit funky, it's a bit different. <sighs> Woo! That is strong. Woo! It's refreshing though, it's really nice. <sighs> I feel like Scooby Doo doing that, drinking this is like Hoing? Hoing? Shaggy? Scooby Doo Doo <laughs> Where are you? <sighs> but guys, it's been fun It's been emotional to say the least Anyways guys, on that note and on that bombshell I'm gonna sign out, it's been fun Man's full to the brim You get me? I feel like a whale right now Man can't even move I'm surprised I can still talk and I'm waffling away but I appreciate every single one of you who take your valuable time out to watch my content and show appreciation and love towards me without you guys none of this would have been possible but I'm gonna knock this back and I'll see you in the next video peace out can you believe <clears throat> crispy look at that scallop big portion it's really crispy I can feel it it was made to order fresh and let's get into it Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that is what I am talking about. That actual potato is so soft and fluffy. Oh my god. I could probably put this in the back of my head now and go to sleep. You get me? If man was on a 12 hour flight to Beijing or somewhere, is it 12 hours to Beijing? I don't know. So let me know in the comment section. I'll just drop that one there. Might be close. Might be 16 hours. But. You know, thereabouts. But just look at that. Oh my god. The bar itself, nice, crispy. Inside, that smooth texture from the potato. It just tops it off. This is a quality scallop. Only thing again, what is missing is the red powder. Majority of places you go, they don't have it. It's only certain shops that have it. Come on, guys, you need to fix up. The red powder is what you plaster all over the scallop, drizzle a bit of ketchup on it if you're having a scallop booty, and that's what makes it so unique and special. I don't know, it's probably, I just feel like one of those kids when they go to a, a sweet shop and they say, I want Kinder Bueno, and then you end up getting the knocked off version. And sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not. I just want some red powder in my life, guys. Come on, man. Sorry, I'll box it off. Who do I need to ring? So I make some phone calls or something.